Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down. Michael, at your service. It is hump day. Hump day. I'll keep that on the low key. I won't get too crazy with it. Uh, today is arm day. <coughs> now, I've been trying to mix things up throughout the week and kind of do different body parts and kind of switch things around a little bit, but <coughs> kind of today is old school. It's my Wednesday arm day. Uh, I'm not going to do anything crazy, outrageous, maybe. Um, <coughs> I might, I might uh, cough a little bit. I might do that. But uh, I don't even have anything wrote down yet. So I'm just, I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm doing. I kind of had in the back of my mind that I might do something crazy and do like an extreme rep, heavy, not heavy weight, but a, a heavy rep. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying when I say it. A lightweight, a mini rep, a lot of rep. I don't know. Barbell curl, like 50, 60, 70 pounds or something on, on the bar or something like that, and just do as many as I can. I've done that once before, and it was one of the most painful things I've ever done. I don't know why it's in my brain to do it, but for some reason, it's stewing in the back of my mind. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to get some stuff wrote down here, and we're not going to do too crazy of a long video here. Nobody cares about arm day. It's all about the big, big lifts and stuff like that. So uh, this is just to connect with all my people and, uh, you know, say hi on this hump day and uh, hopefully maybe inspire you to do something for yourself out there healthy. And, and uh, if you leave good comments and all that, it inspires me to do better and keep putting out videos and uh, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm going to get some stuff wrote down here and then we'll catch back up here in just a minute. Stick around guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll get to the video here in just a moment. Stick around folks. Uh huh. After these messages. All right, as you can see today, we're going to do something a little different. I've only done these a couple of times. Uh, it's something that I've seen done some months back and I've, uh, done before. So we're going to do some sitting barbell curls, number one. And probably the main reason is my back's a little eh today. Uh, I have a chronic bad back and some days it's just not wanting to loosen up and give me as much comfort as I would like. And if I do curls standing up with a barbell, my back always gets a little bit aggravated, especially if I go heavy because no matter what you do, you're going to move, and you need to move anyway because we're built to move. So uh, in order to kind of keep myself from doing something stupid, I'm going to keep myself sitting down. And uh, the range of motion on these are it is a little bit less, but at the same time, <coughs> you do get a good workout. And uh, so we're going to do these. Hope you enjoy. And I have 54 pounds. The bar is 34 pounds. And I have a 10 on each side. So let's get them going here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there you go. If you've never seen those, those are really, uh, they're pretty interesting to do and they do give you a nice pump still on the bicep, surprisingly. And uh, I've talked about that before with bicep curls that a lot of times you're getting most of your work like in this general area and not so much at the bottom because a lot of times you're just kind of letting your, hand, your arms hang there. And then at the top, you know, you're supposed to squeeze, but sometimes we just kind of let the weight hang, you know, push down on us and not really give us much. So this right here, uh, this range of motion through here really seems to really focus on the biceps quite well. It will surprise you. So uh, we're gonna do a few more sets of these and I don't know how many clips I'll get today, but if I do anything a little bit better, heavier, maybe I will. Or we'll get a we'll get a clip here and there just to 
keep connected and, you know, get you through your workout a little bit. So uh, stick around, guys, and let's move on to the next set. Okay, I went up only 10 pounds. I put a five on each end. Uh, we're just going to go up slowly and uh, try to get a good workout, guys. <clears throat> so we've got 64 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And here we are, we're at 74 pounds. I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to get a bunch of clips. I can't help it. But we gotta, we gotta get the workout done. We gotta share with the public, guys. Seventy-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. We'll stop at 12. All right, as you can see, we went ahead and moved the bench and all that over here. I was doing it caveman style. I forget. I'm classy. I can come over here and put this on my spotter arms, even though my spotter arms are falling apart. So we got 84 pounds now. Sure, I'm not hitting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, we got 94 pounds right now. And uh, we'll probably try and get a set of 10. Set of 10. I wanna make sure I got enough left in me from my last set. Okay, we have 104 on the bar. The bar is 34 pounds. We have a 10, a 10, a five, a five, and a five. And the clamps weigh 37 pounds by themselves. So that's a lot of weight. No, clamps don't weigh that much. Thought I'd throw some of you weight weenies off. i try to figure out the weight. The clamps don't weigh that much. Maybe 20 pounds. So we're gonna hope for 10 reps on this. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Woo. All right, we're on to the second movement for biceps, and that's where we'll stop today. It's two movements. We're going to do dumbbell sitting, simultaneous curls. Simultaneous means same time. Alternate means alternate times. We're going to do simul. Let's do simul. We're starting with the 50s because I'm already warmed up. And I want to get these over with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, ten. Woo. Form got a little off on that one. Set number two, got the 45s. Let's get them done. Steps two. Uh, I think I'm going to break them off and do them on deadlift day on Friday. I already did triceps a little bit, like Monday or Tuesday. So uh, I've been, like I said, I've been trying to kind of mix things around. But uh, uh, if you if you work bicep and tricep out together, well, it wears you out. And I've done that for years. I mean, that's just kind of the way I've always done it. For the most part, I have done back and bicep. And of course, like chest and tricep, stuff like that. I have done that in the past. And even recent, I've done some of that kind of stuff. But overall, for the most part, I've always kind of done my whole arm in one day in one workout because it's, it is good to get the whole entire arm pumped full of blood. You know, it's all being worked at the same time, the same day. And then it gets all that big fullness that it gets. And then it gets... You know then it all gets to kind of relax for a little bit together so uh, anyway uh, I think today I'm just gonna cut it off at biceps because I did do some pretty good sets and uh, decent uh, reps and stuff and uh, I know I'm gonna get the, the the rep police or the form police for well if you're doing the barbell to here you're not getting a workout try and if you don't bring your dumbbells all the way down here you're not getting the full workout about in here is about all you need, believe me. Try it. Uh, the, the squeeze that you're getting at the top is, is important or more so than the stretch. It's all, it's all important. So if you're not, you know, if your only concern is this and not this, then you're just as wrong as what you think people like myself are. So, again, you do what you want. Everybody else does what they want, and we all get along we all do our own thing and uh, there is no super science behind any of this stuff it's all just what fits you and what you think and how you feel so uh, just enjoy working out and stop you know stop hounding people you know just enjoy stuff and if you don't work out then why do you make comments and why do you feel like you have the the right to do that we're getting a lot of that a lot of people that don't even work out so and uh Anyway, so that's my workout today. Uh, those sitting barbell curls, please try those. Those are a very interesting move, and you do uh, keep decent control of your body. There's not a lot of swinging around. And also the sitting uh, simultaneous or alternating, whatever you want to do, dumbbells, 
those are good as well. They keep you fairly grounded and keep you from moving too much. Uh, good stuff, and it's back friendly, which uh, I needed today. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know, hey, leave some comments. Pat each other on the back. Let us know in the comments what you're doing. It don't even have to be working out. Anything, anything that's good and healthy and you enjoy, your passion in life, whatever it is, let us know in the comments and uh, we can, you know, cheer you on and, uh, uh, you know, we can cheer you on. That's what we can do. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Micah, your incredible host. And uh, please don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And have a great rest of your hump day and uh, be awesome. Go hump. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it.